What's going on guys? Welcome back to Dutch Lock Smith channel. In today's video, we're going to be giving you all pretty much a tour and a first drive after 400 miles of the 6.0 and talk about like all the issues and stuff that we've had with it so far and all the fixes that we've had to do to really dial it in because as you all know by watching the last video, this was the first motor and transmission that I've ever put in a vehicle uh, period. So I've done small stuff like oil coolers, turbos, you know, injectors, stuff like that on 6.0s, but I've never actually pulled the front clip, pulled the motor out, pulled a trans out, all that stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and jump right into this video. But first, dude, check out check out the wife's truck. I put some 17 methods on it and some Maxxis ATs and a little leveling kit for a little Christmas present. Dude, this thing's looking fire. I love these tires on my F250. It's the Maxxis Razor ATs. Um, but anyway. This thing looks so sick underneath the engine bay. I, I have the Blessed Performance uh, air deflector. You can use my discount code HAWK5 and save 5% on this. Uh, Matt's also going to be getting me out a, uh, a valence for the bottom. And I'm going to take all this apart and get all this back being paint matched instead of green. So I'm going to paint those brackets black and the light bar black. Um, and then I'll paint match this grill, paint match the headlights. I'm also going to take the hood back off and paint underneath the hood. But anyway, so since we've had the truck back together, we've had to fix pretty much four oil leaks. I had an oil leak on the feed tube, an oil leak on the drain tube, and then I had an oil leak on both glow plug harnesses. That's fixed. There is still one small, small baby, baby, baby oil leak somewhere, or it's just residual oil that hasn't like left the chat just yet. Also, I've got something pretty cool from In The Shop. It's uh, Nathan here on YouTube. I'm sure you guys have seen him. If you watch me, you've probably seen some of his videos. We put his 100 PSI map sensor on there and then this truck has a blessed performance built motor in it um, with like a cam, injectors, the whole nine yards. When running the non-VGT setup, like if you have a turbo that will push over 30 PSI boost, your factory boost gauge and stuff isn't gonna work, but you can utilize your factory boost gauge if you run a different map sensor so that's pretty cool so this was a really cool easy simple upgrade from in the shop this is the ITS uh, 100 PSI map sensor and it's literally completely plug and play you take these three nuts off it's all stainless TIG welded and then you can swap that out and then you can use your SCT monitor um, SCT gauges or edge monitor and factory boost gauge and stuff to read over 30 PSI boost and it's also supposed to be like a more accurate boost reading. But anyway, like I said, guys, we've got the uh, wire loom from Blessed Performance. We've got the air dam from Blessed Performance. There's a really cool piece that goes right here that I'm wanting to get in powder coat. I've also got this uh, coolant bottle. I've got it powder coated. Let's show it to you right quick. So right here it is. I, I'm not going to be putting this on in this video, but we've got the powder coated degas bottle. It's gonna look absolutely sick. Single shot powder coating as usual. Brad killed it. We've got a 450 that we're building for a customer. It's a Honda 450. We had all that stuff powder coated and he went ahead and knocked that out for me as well. Anyway guys, this past week I've been battling trying to get this thing running. It would not start. It wouldn't crank, it wouldn't do anything. And the truck was kinda in no man's land on the shifter column. It was in between park and reverse. I need to adjust the shifter linkage on the transmission. So I guess with like the neutral safety switch or whatever it's called on these trucks, the truck thought that it wasn't in park so it wouldn't allow the truck to start. I ended up putting all new terminals on the battery. I thought that I had some weird battery connection issue going on. So I put new terminals on the battery and then I put new terminals on like actually all the cables um, on both sides. So I've got all new actual connections. So all the voltage and stuff should be absolutely dialed now. But we're gonna go ahead and shut this hood and we're gonna, oh, the keys are in my pocket. Big fast fuel system kicks on. But yeah, I was testing like all of the fuses and stuff, like in the fuse box, starter relay, ignition uh, fuses, like everything, key switch, ignition switch. It ended up being that the truck was, see like you can see the, the indicator, it was like right there. And like whenever it's like down like that, it won't, like the truck wouldn't start. But now that it's in park, she'll fire right up, baby. I wish you 
you guys could hear this thing in person. It is absolutely ear piercing loud. It is so loud. Moving the truck like downtown and the tailpipe is like pointed at buildings and stuff. Dude, it gets so loud. Also, hope you guys went out and voted today. This thing rolls so much coal, I'm really missing that $2 diesel. Not getting political on you, but let's make a change. Most of you guys know this truck has a stage 3000 built transmission from PKP Motorsports. Herbie, shout out to Herbie. Uh, that's my dude. And then we've got pretty much like a stage 2 million. It's actually a stage 2 probably. Um, but that's just like 1.99 million away. So you have to exaggerate a little bit here on YouTube. So we've got a really, really built trans and a really, really built motor. The fuel air setup is 205.75 holders and a S366 from Turbo Time USA. It is their modified and built um, S366 SXE is what it starts out as. So I have the go ahead from Herbie to rip on the trans and I've got the go ahead from Matt to send it once or twice uh, around three quarter throttle. I'm not gonna do wide open throttle in this video um, but after we hit a thousand miles, then we can do a wide open throttle and there will be another video. And then we can start throwing some parts on this thing again, like a uh, different suspension, powder coat, all that stuff. I just want to make sure the truck's good and safe and like dialed in, trans is okay, motor's okay, before I start sinking even more money into this truck. So I'm going to catch y'all out here on the road where we already are, but we're going to have to travel across our non-existent border to Mexico. It's very easy to go in and out right now. And we will uh, do a little quarter throttle, half throttle, and uh, three quarter throttle pull. It's so loud. <laughs> Dude, it sounds so good. Yeah, so we have made it across the border and we are going to start at about five miles an hour and I'm just gonna roll on a quarter throttle and then it's gonna do a little bit of editing and then I'm gonna start at five ten miles an hour and we're gonna do half throttle or at five ten miles an hour and do three quarter throttles get a little bit of my ugly face get a little bit of the rear view mirror I'm filming by myself today I don't have a filmer today uh, so just bear with me I'll try to show you all some black smoke let's go my need for speed at my old age is uh, is pretty much gone. So I'm gonna cut off like around 60, 70 miles an hour uh, in all of these. <laughs> that was pretty sick. I'm so pumped for three quarter throttle because I have not done three quarter throttle yet since I put the truck back together. 50 ish miles between 400 and 450. So I'm gonna get turned around, then we're gonna then we're gonna do three quarter throttle for the first time together. Me and you. Yeah, you. So let's do this. <laughs> flat ground over this hill then we'll slow it down right here yeah, all right I'm gonna let this car pass we are doing I'm gonna do from 10 miles an hour three-quarter throttle say this in almost every video but I'm honest with you guys like I tell you all what's happening okay there's a lot of youtubers out there that like they may not tell you the behind the scenes stuff but I try to always show that so what I noticed with that was it's pretty slow 
like down low when you go from nothing to three quarter, obviously. Um, and I think honestly, that's just from being non VGT with some big injectors. I am not used to non VGT. So I assume if you are actually wanting to like do some street racing or drag racing of any kind, you have to build some boost first and launch when you have non-VGT. Because whenever you switch over to non-VGT, you're gonna lose some of that down low, especially when you have big injectors that going from nothing, coasting at 10 miles an hour, to three quarter throttle all at once, those 205 75s are dumping fuel, okay? And until that turbo lights, and starts cleaning up that fuel, it's gonna be pretty smoky. But I've drove the truck, like I said, a little bit over 400 miles now, around town and on the interstate, and it does really good. I mean, honestly, and with this new revised tune that I've got from Blessed and the new map sensor, the shift points are a lot better, um, and the, the response seems to be a little bit better as well. And I'm, I'm super happy with it as of right now. So we're gonna go on back to the shop and we're gonna talk about some future upgrades. Dude, this thing looks so good. I love that blue color. Guys, do you see, do you see what I see? I see a coolant bottle on a 6.0 that just done three quarter throttle and has went over 400 miles that's not pushing coolant yet. That's a record for me. My, my previous record was 40 miles before the blown head gaskets. We're over 400. Thank you, Matt, at Blessed Performance. No, but for real, guys, what I want to do next is this um, cold side pipe right here. Uh, Blessed Performance sells like a solid one that doesn't have a boot. So we're going to probably do an install video on that, having it powder coated at single shot. Or I might can even talk Matt into sending me one. Uh, that's already powder coated get one off of him that's already powder coated and then i've got this coolant bottle that's powder coated and then i thought about if i feel like it i probably don't feel like it but low-key i thought about powder coating the uh the turbo but i'm afraid that that blue color would just get baked and like kind of change colors and stuff if i powder coat the turbo blue i probably won't but i thought about taking that map sensor that i showed you guys earlier and having the taking the map sensor out of it and having this bracket powder coated the blue color um, and then I want to have these done. I'm going to have these brackets right here, sandblasted and powder coated blue. And then there's a company that makes a piece right here. And I'll either get that uh, from that company or maybe get Matt to design me one and build me one. And then we can do a YouTube video on that because he also just dropped some valences. I know I said that at the beginning of this video, but he's going to be sending me a valence that I'll be able to do a full YouTube video on for you guys on test fitting it. Um, it's a new size and I'm going to primer it and paint it and clear it, you know, just like a body panel. So it'll be paint matched, but it'll be a different valence and it'll be a pretty cool look that, you know, hasn't been done yet. Um, another thing that I want to do is I want to get a aluminum radiator. So I, I need to pick up an aluminum radiator. I think that would be cool. That would be like a nice touch and having him powder coat, like just the top core of it. So then this was blue through here. That would look pretty cool. Uh, XDP regulated fuel return. We have holder 205 75s. Uh, we have a Turbo Time USA S366. It's their GXR7 is like what it's called. Um, it's a modified Borg Warner S366 SXE. We have um, these billet caps up here. We have a Mechman alternator. I've got a full YouTube video on this. This truck runs like 14, five volts all the time. It's an absolute beast. That alternator is awesome. We have Riff Raff boots. Man, I did not look at the boost that it pushed at three quarter throttle. I should have looked at that. Anyway, as far as the ITS map sensor, I know that it's reading, but I'll test that out for you guys because I need to know how much boost this truck is pushing to see if it's, you know, having any exhaust leaks, boost leaks. Uh, I need to put a new map pose on it probably just so I know that that's not an issue and that's all dialed But yeah, I'm super happy with how the trucks coming together. The engine bay is looking awesome So pretty much my plan is once the engine bay is 100% perfect and the motor is good and the transmission is good I'm going to be uh, Doing some custom suspension underneath. I'm not necessarily lifting the truck but everything underneath it will get repowder coated 
the new color and black. So that's going to be kind of the vibe on the new look is it's going to be this ride height except it's going to have full fabricated radius arms, a full fabricated cradle and full fabricated traction bars. So it's going to be one of a kind. It's not going to be crazy tall. It does go up any it'll go to just like leveled but it will have all of that cool custom suspension underneath and that'll be something a little bit different i haven't really talked about that much but that is my plan as of right now what is this on my camera so as far as like the suspension stuff goes i don't know what my camera's doing there's a little bitty logo i know you guys can't see it but there's some sort of new logo that i've never seen right here but yeah so after we make sure that the truck is reliable we'll do wheels and tires again i want you all to go ahead and be dropping in the comments what brand of forged wheels i'm going to do some forged wheels on the truck again We've ran JTX, we've ran American Force, uh, we've ran um, Fuel Forged. I've ran about all of them, but now I've been out of the game for about a year or two now, and there's so many new companies and new brands. So if there's a new brand of Forged Wheels that you guys would like to see on this truck after we get all the custom suspension everything on, which I will be announcing here very shortly, as soon as the motor and trans is guaranteed all good. So far so good on the motor and trans. So I'm super excited, I'm happy, but I'm having a little bit of 6.0 PTSD over the last two years of my life, uh, spending so much time and money working on this thing just to try to get it to make it more than 40 miles. We've officially made it more than 40 miles. We've made it a little bit over 400 now, but uh, I wanna get like a couple thousand miles on it before I even worry about the looks, the paint match, the powder coat, the wheels, the tires, all that stuff. That's pretty much my update video, guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope that it answers some questions. I'm super happy with PKP Performance, the built transmission from Herbie, and I'm super happy with the motor from Blessed Performance so far. I hope this answered some of your all's questions, and I hope you always still remember, everybody starts out as a nobody. I know you all have not been hearing that as much as you used to, because I used to make so many more videos than I do now. But we're going to get back into it now that we have a truck to make the videos with. Anyway, guys, that's going to be all for today's video. Again, always remember, everybody starts out as nobody, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.